watercolor pencils, watercolor art journal, and a bird. What Bertel can we do with that? Let's find out. So I'm going to be trying something new today. New for me anyway. Uh, if you saw my last video on uh, my art show and tell, I showed this book. It's just a watercolor journal, hardback watercolor journal by Strathmore. It has uh, Strathmore 400 paper in it. I want to start a nature journal. We live on some property that has it's a couple acres of property, has a lot of wooded area. We have bird feeders, lots of birds, uh, different trees. And I thought it'd be cool to have like a coffee table journal that has some of the nature that's around uh, our house. So. Um, I've never done this. I also am looking to establish kind of a style or a process that I can use on location. Uh, anywhere from landscaping to urban sketching, uh, you name it. With that in mind, I've got some watercolor pencils. I'm also going to be using a aqua brush. Probably familiar with them. They've got self-contained water. The water just comes right through the brush. I picked up these the other day, these water-soluble Prismacolor pencils. The colors match their line of regular pencils in terms of if it says crimson red on it, there's a regular one of their regular wax-based pencils that match that. And sure enough, you know, I pulled out some of those and they do match exactly so you can mix media with wax based pencils and watercolor pencils I have a lot of Prismacolor pencils so this was kind of a natural fit so I'll be doing a little bit of a review and it's just going to be mainly my initial reactions to these I've already tested them a tad bit and they're a little softer and creamier than their Wentz um, which is neither a plus or a minus it just depends on what you're looking for but I liked it and let's go on with this and we'll see how, how it works out. So I've got myself a nice little light sketch of the bird and I, now what I'm going to do is just go in. Mostly the bird is black and gray. There's some kind of tawny tones in here, beige and tan. So I'll, I'll probably bring that in there. I may bring in some blues just to liven up these grays. I'm just popping in. Some of the darkest black, what I like to call low lights. And I'll be able to put a wash over these probably. Just smooth them out. See what happens when we start moving the pigment around. Just using a towel to basically to adjust the wetness in here. This is base, these water brushes always stay wet. And you can increase the amount, of course, by squeezing here. And um, But you'll get pigment buildup in your tip. So, and sometimes you'll have too much moisture in there, so I'm just adjusting that by wiping it. Not being extremely experienced with watercolor pencil, I think what I'm going to do is just go back and forth with adding in values and details with the pencil, extending them with washes, going back and, and just going back and forth. We'll see how that works. can go very lightly 
with your application of, of pencil and pigment. Okay, at least on these Prismacolor pencils, uh, it, it's pretty strong. Pigment is pretty strong. Gauging how much pigment's on the paper and how intense or dark it's going to be is, I can see, is the trick with watercolor pencil. That just probably comes with experience. This is a really fun. I'm doing a drawing of a chickadee. Carolina chickadee. If you're familiar with birds, it's a cousin of the black cap chickadee, which is a more northern relative, somewhere along the Mason Dixon line ish and up. They're black cap. Below that, most of them are Carolina chickadees, but they're virtually identical. We have a ton of them around here. They're very vocal. They're probably the most vocal, one of the most vocal birds around. They make this really raspy kind of choo 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 sound. That wasn't even close, but it almost sounded like a a cicada, you know. I can see like most watercolor, it dries lighter than when you put it down while it's wet. I guess I've never really used watercolor pencil much because I was just very, undis uh, number one, very undecided on how to use it. And being primarily a studio artist, um, I don't know, I just didn't know where it fit in my style. But I see lots of possibilities for them now, and it's really just been a matter of stopping and thinking about it, you know. Thinking how they would be used. I've watched some videos of people use them and got a lot of good ideas that way. Exploring how a new medium or version of a medium works is so exciting. Making the mental notes and, and realizing how it acts and reacts one of the things I love about watercolor in general, but um, you know, there again, getting into that mind of any medium, so that you're thinking, uh, so that you're thinking the way it is, you know, if, if they could think, but sort of proverbial thinking the way the medium thinks. interesting because after wetting watercolor pencil one time and letting it absorb in as a wash, um, it doesn't, doesn't move around or re-wet nearly as much after it's absorbed and starts drying. Interesting. 
essentially the first strokes when you're loosening up the pigment on the front I guess dissolves it soaks in and then it's uh, I don't want to say permanent because there is a little bit but it's it's soaked in and it's not as workable after that something to keep in mind What I'm doing here is just using some Jelly Roll pen, um, an opaque white Jelly Roll pen. And there are several ways you could do this. Um, you could actually mask off these lines, but they're so fine, you know, I'm just popping in some little hair-like details. They're so fine that a little bit of opaque paint, I think, works. Uh, for instance, you could use some gouache and a dip pen with a nib or this Jelly Roll pen like I'm doing. That's pretty much my first experiment, with, full experiment with watercolor pencils. I think they make a really great uh, journal medium. I had anticipated trying to do the whole thing in watercolor pencil and water brush. In the end, I, didn't, I couldn't resist. I had to get out my regular brush and some paints. And But I hope just you watching and following along gave you some ideas or maybe you have some questions or maybe you're an experienced water brush and watercolor pencil painter and you got some ideas and tips for me so let me know what they are man that was a ton of fun thanks guys for watching hope you'll subscribe and like if you enjoyed this and we will see you next time